This is the Tony Tetrax production. Fire energy. Giving scientists fire energy. Giving scientists fire energy. Giving fire energy. Fire energy. 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 Giving scientists another chance to unlock the mystery of our universe. A large Hadron Collider is being fired up this week after a two-year hiatus, and a group of scientists believes that the results can prove the existence of parallel universes. Scientists believe that a second run of the LHC could produce or detect miniature black holes, which they argue could point to entire universes hidden away in higher dimensions folded into our reality. Now the LHC will be powered to its highest ever energy levels, about double those of its last run. And if these scientists are right, the new run could uncover black holes tucked away in dimensions beyond on the floor that we interact with in our daily lives. Tails like a scorpions, and there were stings in their tail. Their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. Woe, one woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. Now, what I'm going to preach you this morning may be one of the most important messages that I've ever preached in all the years that I've been preaching the Word of God. But what I have studied has alarmed me greatly to the point to where I need to get this material out to you that are listening. I originally had planned to preach this tonight, but the Holy Spirit changed my mind and said, preach it in the morning. So this morning, I'm going to preach you a message about something that is happening right now. It's in CERN, Switzerland. Now, you may not be aware of what's going on over there, but there's a thing over there that's called a Large Hadron Collider, and it is an accelerator. It accelerates particles and then brings them to the point of collision. So this Large Hadron Collider was started up just a few days ago, and it's still in the initial process of being brought online completely. You say, what in the world does something like that have to do with me and the Bible? It has a lot to do with you and the Bible. It makes an application to your life and to this world as we know it today. For what is happening in that collider is an astounding thing. So I want to read something to you this morning from a theoretical physicist, Stephen Hawking. And he is one that some rate even on the level of Einstein. Listen carefully. These are the words of Stephen Hawking. He recently warned the reactivation in March of CERN's Large Hadron Collider could pose grave dangers to our planet. The ultimate reality, check, we are warned. Hawking has come straight out and said, the God particle, and this is what you've heard referred to time and again as the Higgs boson particle, the God particle found by CERN could destroy the universe. Now let that settle in. This man is an atheist, and he says there is no God. Yet he says that what's happening right now in CERN, Switzerland, and I'll give you what they're trying to do in a moment, what's happening at this very minute in CERN, Switzerland, has the potential to destroy the universe. Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has also sounded the alarm by telling anyone who might want to blow up a planet how to do so is this CERN's attempt to do so by attempting to recreate the Big Bang within a man-made structure. This has frightened Stephen Hawking so much. Do they know that they know that they know what they are doing? Ask yourself, how much energy is keeping it together? Then you put more than that amount of energy into the object, it will explode. I've quoted two physicists. These are scientists. These men do not agree with what's happening in CERN, Switzerland right now. There is a 17 mile long accelerator that lies 300 feet beneath the surface of the ground. This area is where France and Switzerland come together. So part of this accelerator is located in France and part of it in Switzerland. It is a joint European project. The United States of America is there as an observer, but the, but the brain power that's going in 
that this experimentation originates in Europe. They are attempting to recreate what they believe happened that brought all of this into existence as being the Big Bang. Now you and I know from the book of Genesis chapter number one that in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. He spoke it into existence. They are finding things, and this is what's important for us to understand today. They are discovering things that they did not expect to discover as they get deeper and deeper into this, uh, into this experimentation. They are beginning to find out that there is a whole lot more to the creation than they had ever given thought to before. They're beginning to find out that there's something going on here that boggles the human mind, that literally blows us apart when we try to even comprehend what's happening. This 17 mile long underground tube that is uh, located there in Switzerland has I think four or five different points where they collide Yeah. <laughs>